Hey everybody, it's me, Connie, and I. Uh, it's crafty time. Alrighty, you can find me at cardswithconnie.blogspot.com. Come visit me. How would you like to build a card together? I've already kind of started for time's sake so that we're not here for a long, long time. But this is uh, very vanilla. And the card size is four and a half, I mean five and a half, excuse me, by four and a fourth. The chocolate chip color is four by five and a fourth. And so I went ahead and glued it down with my Tombow glue. I just love, love, love that stuff. So um, I ran it through the textured embossing um, folders. Just love these things. This is the wood grain. So let's get started the designer series paper that I'm using comes from the new um, pretty petals designer series and look at all the beautiful colors aren't they gorgeous and uh, let's see what I had left over that's what's on the other side isn't that pretty just love all those colors but I kind of want it to to try to go a little on the vintage side so that's what I did and um, with the sentiment I used the cottage greetings here and the a happy birthday right here I went ahead and did that the flower that we're going to use is from the flower shop and I've already got it out on the block and I love this and the cool thing about this is it the pansy punch is what we use to cut, uh, punch them out with you buy these together bundle it and you save 15 percent who's not about saving money Woohoo! it's exciting isn't it all right let's get busy well I think what I'm going to go ahead and do since I've already glued that down set that to the side I'm going to um, go ahead and glue this to that. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Just I always just hit the little corners and maybe a little dot in the middle. I tell you what, that Tombow glue is fantastic. I love it. And it, it gives you just a tiny bit of time to um, move it if you have to some of the other adhesives when they're down they're down and it's over with they are down so how's that you like i love it all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use our fabulous dimensionals we'll put one on each corner that's all i need love these things they are fantastic all right and yes i'm a nail tech by day so don't judge me by my nails they are not done <laughs> so maybe sometime soon it's just hard to do it on myself all righty there we go i'm going to put that right there isn't that pretty pretty so far and this right here, the color right here I used was Old Olive because that's um, what's in the designer series paper. Isn't that cool? All right, next I've got Cherry Cobbler ink already out and the Fancy Flower on here. And this is uh, Crushed Curry. And I tell you what, if you've never used Stampin' Up! paper cardstock, it is fantastic it's very substantial let's see okay so we get a little bit of crushed curry I mean I'm sorry cherry cobbler goes straight down and straight up isn't that pretty and I'm gonna use the same color on all of them I just you know it gives it a little bit of something without a whole lot and then this was a uh, crushed curry and this is night and navy and I'm going to go straight down and straight up you don't see it too well on here but when it's on the card it'll be nice and here we go just going to pop these out of there hopefully I'm in camera line it up Woo, there it goes 
There's one. And here's the second one. This is Cherry Cobbler. I love these colors. And then Crushed Curry. Love it. I hope you're enjoying it. These are so pretty. Well, I cannot line up this flower for the... What is going on? Here we go. Got it. Got it, got it. Good. All right. All righty. Now, and I don't know if I told you that... Um, let me get my piercing tool. This right here with the designer series paper... Um, I'm going to have all of the dimensionals in my, the dimensions, sorry, in my blog for you. But it is four by two and a half. And then the very vanilla is three and three fourths by two and a fourth. Isn't that cool? I just love it. I wanted something a little on the vintage side, you know. It's okay. And then you get your flowers, turn your... Uh, turn them over on the ink side and you can just hit them with your bone folder and just kind of give them a little curl kind of break the fibers up a little bit and it gives it a little something extra a little more dimension and just curl them up and get them going those petals are so pretty and then this one the last one here we go isn't that pretty I love it. All right, which way do we want to go? We're going to go this direction. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm telling you what, anytime you see my videos, I'm telling you right now, you're probably going to see a flower. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I will work on that and get it, um, get it going a whole lot better for you, okay? All right, I need my dimensionals again. We're going to take them and put them on the back of these flowers. I just love them. Alright, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put one down so I know about where I want to start. Alright. Here we go. There we are. Peel it off. And just put it on there. And, you know, you can do anything you want, really. This is just a starting point for you, and you can um, change anything you want. This is just kind of giving you an idea to enhance your uh, creativity, hopefully, and make it your own. All right, there we go. Okie dokie, let's see. Um, oh, I have some beautiful basic pearls. Aren't those gorgeous? I love them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the next to the smallest and put it right in the middle. I always use my piercing tool to um, pick up the jewels. Makes it easy. And put it right there in the middle. Isn't that pretty? Just kind of gives it a little extra. But over here, to me, it seems like something is missing. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get three of the same size and start right here. And I'm just going to put three, like I said, three down. And it kind of gives it a little, a little more something. There you go. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And there you go. And what we can do on the inside, let me go ahead and just get Night of Navy. Open that and open my cherry cobbler back up. And how about a little bit crushed curry? This is a little bit of an afterthought, but we're going to go ahead and do it and make it work. Um, let's see. Let me get a baby wipe. My uh, pad is somewhere else where I can't get to it, so I will wipe it off like that. And let's see. I will get the uh, inside of my card. And I'm going to go this way so that I don't get it on there. And 
I'm going to get a little bit of crushed curry. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to just leave it with crushed curry and then open it up. We'll do crushed curry again. A little bit on the corner. And that way the inside has a little something extra to it too. Um, do we want a little bit of you know what? I think I want some um, uh, this cherry cobbler. So let me uh, there we go. Kind of put a little bit more color in there. Love it. Close this up. And we're going to put that over here. And one over here. Pretty. Love it. Kind of gives the card a little extra something on the inside. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Alright. A little bit of crushed curry on the inside. Uh, the sentiment is in Old Olive. Love Old Olive. And a little bit of Knight of Navy. And Cherry Cobbler. I used that um, on the flowers. And then we used Crushed Curry, Knight of Navy, and Cherry Cobbler paper cardstock. Isn't that pretty? I, don't, I hope you can see it. It's just kind of um, simple but elegant. And we used this uh, flower on the flower shop. Get the lighting off of it. I apologize for that. And then we used the Cottage Greeting. The happy birthday. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Just very nice. And then some paper out of the Pretty Petals DSL. Design Series. Sorry, DSP. I don't know why I threw an L in there. <laughs> it could be because it's late. And um, don't forget the beautiful pearls. Basic pearls. And if, let me just remind you about this. Together, save 15%. Yay! Alrighty. There we go. There we have it. Pretty simple. You like it? It's a nice little happy birthday card. Who wouldn't mind getting that in the mail? Isn't that pretty? Alright. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. Please leave a comment and let me know what I can do better or different. Um, I hope this like I said, gets your creative juices flowing and you can do whatever you want and uh, just maybe this will be a starting point and you can do something pretty special yourself. Alrighty, well, y'all have a nice day. Be blessed and enjoy. Come visit me, don't forget, at cardswithconnie.blogspot.com and um, leave a comment. I'll uh, put the video on there and you can Come by and visit, and I'll give you all the dimensions again, and everything that I used will be on there. Thanks. Have a blessed day. Thanks for stopping by.